I can't lie to you. I feel a lot like Achilles right now. My body's sore. I probably got a concussion, so I'm reeling from that. But you wanna know what hurts the most? Right here. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're not aware, I no longer hold the richest prize in professional wrestling. Now, it's fantastic. A man doesn't get his flowers until he's dead and buried. So right here, right now, I'm giving you your respect. You're one tough son of a bitch. So where does that leave me? Where does that leave your old buddy Kilgore? Well, I've been doing some soul searching. And you see, the last match of my career in high school, right when I was taping on my headgear, my coach was talking to me one ear, but there was something going through my brain. There, were, there, were, there was a sentence going through my brain and I repeated it like a mantra over and over, right before I stepped on the mat and I lost that match. See, I carry my team on my back and I carry myself to the championship finals only to lose. But what I said in that moment, it stuck with me. Fast forward to now, you get in a time machine. I'm in the same predicament. I'm facing a man who I faced before. Mom and he gets hurt, so what I have to do, I have to carry AK-170 on my back. I have to go in the lion's den. I have to go into the lion's den and defend my championship. And I repeated to myself that same sentence that I did all those years ago. Fantastic. He pinned me with the one, two, three count. So now, Tiptastic, you think you're the baddest, you think you're the man, you think you're the king of AWF. Well, let me tell you something. You wanna know what I whispered to myself? Last night I did the same thing. I looked at myself in the mirror. I stared beneath these steely eyes of mine and I told myself, you are the best. You are the best. You are the best. And I'm not only the best here, I'm the best in the world. The best wrestler in the world. The best commentator in the world. The best ring announcer in the world. Hell, I'd even be a backstage agent. I live and breathe this business, this sport, whatever you want to call it. I am wrestling. The tip tastic, you want to mock my championship reign, go right ahead. But these people will never accept you like they did me. I am the hero of this story. You might not realize it. These people might not realize it. Hell, mom and aunt might not even realize it. But I am the hero of this story. I am the protagonist, I am the good guy. And if you think I need the A in AK-170 to get the job done, to outgrapple any man, woman, or child who can't lace my boots, much less hold my jock strap in that locker room, you must be dumber than that shit for Brains Diamond Taker. So now, it's a way with all the leather and all the chains and the bike. That's all for show. See, my confidence, it rose like a stock, but now it's lacking. Tiptastic, you got me doubting myself, and that's a dangerous place for me to be at. But this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna reach back. I'm gonna go to the storage. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that old wrestling singlet, and I'm gonna look at it and remember exactly why I'm the best wrestler in the world. My name is Kenneth freaking Kilgore, and I am too fast, I'm too strong, and I'm too damn.